a minute. These puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome to Greenland. I'm Sheriff George Woodman. Call me George. There's definitely something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me about it. Oh, yeah, I forgot this was my suit. Why? What's going on? Okay. Do you like my suit, though? So. I forgot that was the bloody camera working like that. Wait, is there a way to just. Options. <clears throat> Is there a way to fix it? couldn't find him. Fiona needs to check her information. No, I don't think so. Does the doctor like playing games by any chance? What do you mean? There's a message on the computer. Big post that says And chess. a card key already set in place. The king passes the rook and meets the bishop. Hmm. The knight takes a pawn along for the queen. What does that all mean? It's a simple puzzle. Zach, let's take him up on his challenge. You can do this, right? King passes rook and meets bishop. That's that's a king. Uh, that's a bishop. That's a rook. Rook, bishop. Knight, pawn, queen. Duh. The Why doctor does he have to smile below with the it's deceased. It's the worst thing. Another code. But there's nowhere to insert a password. More games. Shame. I'm going to get Fiona to call Usha up here right now. No need, George. The message appeared with the card key. It's mm. telling us where to use it. This is not the time to be joking around, Agent Morgan. Dr. Usha is yeah. below with the deceased. With Anna. Hmm. Below being underground, I take it. 
Simple. Simple. Hmm. Then it's time to meet the mischievous architect of this little game. Nah. Okay. Yes. He's in the basement. Thank you. I think it denotes the seriousness of the murder investigation. Just, uh, I don't know. She is just staring straight ahead. suspects or not. There's two ways of moving, slow and serious, or full on sprint. <laughs> Guard the camera. <clears throat> so I'd actually forgotten that the camera was that the camera controls were all sorts of messed up. Up, it moves the camera that way, down, but moves it that way, and then right and left. Just to see a very flat body that looks like. Sorry. The fuck? Ah, this way. I like how you can tell just from looking at the door that it wasn't locked. I guess the fact that there's someone in there that you would have seen through the door. Probably. <clears throat> Asha, sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, you made it. Let's get started, shall we? Nice goatee. 
This is Agent Morgan from the FBI. <laughs> hmm, nice to meet you. I'm Usher Johnson, the doctor in this hospital. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please call me York. Hmm. Everyone calls me that. Very well, Agent York. Are you a forensic practitioner? Yes. Let's just say I've dealt with corpses before. That yeah. battle of wits, by the way. Doctor. Did you create that yourself? Mm-hmm. I just wanted to see if our FBI agent could handle the task. <laughs> it wasn't really a complicated puzzle. Well, it was, it was fun. knowing the names of chess it. pieces. We don't have much time. You don't have to be Bobby Fisher to work those out. autopsy results. Next time, try challenging us without obstructing an investigation. <laughs> yeah, for sure. The monarch. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I think so. Well, you'd have to have some knowledge of, From the onset of medicine, the morning, I assume. The stiffening of the muscles. The time of death is estimated to be between 20 and 2200 hours. Uh, that's still quite early for such a crime to take place. Now in Scrubs, the guy who becomes a mortician is just a really shite doctor. Wounds, pressure marks around the neck and a long cut running from chest to abdomen. Blood marks on her right hand tell us she was gripping something <clears throat> round in her right hand. Yes. Everyone just looked at your right hand. Her skull is also fractured, but that is unrelated to the cause of death. Seems pretty important, though. It probably happened to her yeah. after she was killed. Now, I first thought death by suffocation. No breathing. Marks on her neck. But after further investigation, I now have a different conclusion. The direct cause of death was loss of blood from the wound. Hmm. <clears throat> Which means she was cut up while she was still alive. Yes, uh, a sharp knife was used. Hmm. It was inserted beneath the sternum and then quickly sliced downwards. The excessive loss of blood from her internal organs is what actually killed her. Couldn't even space out the words so internal hand enough to be hyphenated. And with no skin cells from the attacker. She also doesn't appear to have been bound nor badly beaten. She was apparently killed without resistance. The most tragic thing, however, <clears throat> was that she was unable to speak her story to anyone who could hear her cries. And why? <clears throat> the perpetrator cut out Anna's tongue. Well, I believe she was drugged first to phase her consciousness, and then the killer killed her. Now, the killer most likely has a deep, traumatized past concerning women. He this is a bizarre music choice for the conversation that's going on on screen. Out the tongue suggest a very lonely individual it's way too jaunty for the tone truly hardcore sadist <clears throat> he must get off on watching women suffer especially when they can't answer back now, he watched as the blood pumped from her body right. as she gradually grew cold now, a case in Seattle in 1985 was much like Usha, please, limit your report to your findings as a doctor. Criminal profiling is my job. How dare you speak to me? You're wrong, also. Anna died fully, deeply, painfully aware of what was happening to her. But, uh... Blah, blah, blah. Tell me, what time did it stop raining on the night Anna was killed? Hmm. Uh, just before I went to bed... Right after the movie on TV ended, <coughs> around 1 a.m. What movie was it? An American Werewolf in London. Uh, directed by John Landis, 1981. So the rain stopped, <laughs> accompanied by the ending song, Blue Moon. 
George, would you mind if I examined Anna myself? What more do you hope to find? I'm sure I mentioned that I have a personal interest in cases like these. Oh, no. Uh, oh, God. Stupid camera. Can't be that old. Looks like a trusty doctor. Yeah, okay. Let's see if I can creep her out. Okay. Why would he have... He's in a morgue. He is looking at a corpse. This corpse. Observe. Tongue has been removed. Look at the edge of the stump. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, ah, these. Oh. Observe. Weird thing to say. Oh, this camera is. Do. Neatly wearing. Some jacked up feet. <laughs> like, why are they so wide? Huh. Removed around six hours after death. Okay. I managed to get through that. From her lack of resistance, I'd say that Anna's injuries happened very quickly. Unable to speak, she was then left to cry herself to death. Zach, it's all starting to come together. The perpetrator. Um, he might well do. Two hours. He was just like rain. stunning. It is a corpse. At the estimated time of her death, it was still raining. But you can still see tear marks nah, on her cheek. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that York wants to fuck the corpse. Killed under a roof somewhere. He has Emily to try on with. She was then Here carried go. into the woods after it stopped raining. Hmm. <clears throat> there, there's one other thing. Her tongue was removed with a very blunt knife. In fact, it's more likely it was simply chopped off. I'll show. Are you a passionate man? Well, not particularly. I'm a, That's a weird a question to ask, isn't it? Should the moment call for it. George, how about you? What? I'm very passionate. Yes. Um. Especially when it comes to women. What is this line of questioning? I don't see what that has to do with anything. Thank you, George. <coughs> George, the perpetrator is just like you. He's passionate about women. Hmm. Okay. He's a passionate kisser. Traitor who bit off Anna's tongue. Yep. We'll never get a dental print from a wound like this. But this is still a big lead. Wait, how much tongue could you bite off from kissing someone? Case is now under the jurisdiction of the FBI. I'm assuming command. I'll need you to assist me in the investigation. What in the hell do you mean, Agent Morgan? I know I said I was passionate, but you can't think I did this. <laughs> That's not why I'm assuming command, George. You're a suspect just as much as every other passionate man on Earth. Let me show you something.
Why is he got, why so many baggies of red seeds? There you go. Amazing, huh? I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but most of the details are top secret. George, Emily, we should be going. Hmm. No need to stay here any longer. Okay. I have to sign the release. Just give me a moment. Very well. I'll go on ahead. I can't take it any longer down here. <clears throat> Bishop takes queen, his rook takes your queen, then your knight takes rook, and checkmate. Huh? Hmm. Oh. It's a chess bullshit. My first victory in the Grandmaster ranking. Not legit, though. I can't even wait till he gets outside. Hmm? Must light up the moment I'm in the hallway. Oop. No, no, he, he does wait. Fair enough. Zach, they're here. What can I buy? A twenty-five dollar lollipop, or a that is just ridiculous. Let's just save. Did it just cost me five dollars to save, or did I just earn money? York just takes this all in his stride. Yep, I have bullets. Okay. What's in here then? Whatever that is. 
this? Okay. Why did the toilet got double doors though? That's why I want to know. noises. Amazing. What was that noise? Oh no, he's a thing. Okay. Yep. That's what I needed, I assume. Coffee, because that'll help somehow, I guess. Is there any more in here? No, 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 no. He's saying amazing, he's just shooting some things. Uh, they came from this way, so I'm gonna go this way. Save here. Yes. Yeah, it cost me a dollar to save. That's a BS. I'm not changing my suit. This shit is amazing. Uh, take whatever stabilizers do. Do I want to sleep? No. I'll take a knife. Not going to use it, but yeah. Take. 
take. So, all right, okay. Did I come in here or? Okay, so it's the other way. This way. I just adjust pulling up his trousers. There's a thing over there. There's just a lot of blood now. That looks fun. Now he's like, what is that? Here, over here. Okay. MRI room. Okay. Like if that machine was on, and yeah, that key card would be completely useless if that machine was on. So everything would have just been wiped off it. Let's just save though. Again to be sure. Yep. Can't rotate the saves. Just the one save file. Is the, is the entrance back the way I came then? I think. So there? Is it? Which way is the entrance now? Where have I got to go? Maybe that way, right? So that out here now. Yep. A 
door that I can get through. Whether it's the way I need to go or not, I don't know. Yeah. Oh no. Some vines. Okay. What is going on? have a shotgun but thanks cool once again no shotgun pretty sure I just shot the zombie in the dick Enemy to go to. <sighs> why? Why do you make that? Like the faces this man makes are just quite spectacular. Agent Morgan, if you're so desperate, then why not smoke two at once? <laughs> Fucking dare you! I, I would quite like two right now. Monday four. <clears throat> Who's that old man? That's Harry. Harry Stewart. It's one of the bigger problems around here. It's His a man in a wheelchair. Trade and founded this town. George just goes up to disabled people and says, You're a problem. As I'm sure you can see. Always dressed like that. Never speaking to the townsfolk. And just FYI, he owns almost the entire town. Not that that makes any difference. So long as I'm around, he won't be getting away with any funny business. It's a man in a wheelchair, George. <laughs> Mysterious capitalist. Okay. Mr. Francis York Moore. Haste won't lead you to what you seek. Keep your eyes focused on your footing as we speak. So says Mr. Stewart. Michael Tillotson, son of Tillot. Nice to meet you too. <coughs> How did you know my name? I have heard stories of the guy in the weird suit. Mr. Francis York Morgan, information desires you, just as you desire information too. too. So, so says Mr. Stewart. Stewart. Harry, stop trying to get in our way. Keep this up, and even you'll have to answer to the law.
Mr. Francis York Morgan. He's not even addressing George. Our town goes mad. To our disdain, unpreventable. So sad. That seems so grammatically sad, incorrect. Stewart, that sentence. Thanks for the warning. Then we shall depart, Mr. Francis York Morgan. That's how he always is. Always spouting that nonsense. Don't give it any thought. Yes. <coughs> Emily here. Uh huh. Oh. Okay, thank you, Thomas. Agent York, we've contacted the first witnesses to the crime scene. You can interview them where they found the dead body. Excellent. I was <laughs> just about to ask if you could take me there. Okay. Yes. Yes. The body was found in the Greenvale Forest Park. That's west from here. Too far to walk. Okay. The forest Park? It's the pride of the town. It has a beautiful trail leading to a viewing site over Velvet Falls. S-P-Y-F-C-T-N. Show me the sights. Uh, that may have to wait. We promised to be there by 1800 to interview the first witnesses to the crime scene. I'm... No, I won't be there. I'm going to... Um... Chill out. Vid games. <laughs> God damn it, sweary. Huh. I don't want to go back in. Um, oh, doesn't one of these like break the thing? I don't know. I'll do that. No, I'm good. I don't want to, I don't want to go. In whose car did they take then? Zach, we need to get to Greenvale Forest Park. It's apparently quite a distance, so check the map. Oh. I want to go get this card, actually. It's over here. Get out. Why was that the sound of the engine being turned off? Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? Well, just do as you please. We can head to the forest later. Okay. Where's this card? How do I get to that? I don't want it. Can I jump? I want to jump. I want to jump onto the grass. I want to get this card. What is it? Back for you, card. Nope. Alright. 
Eso es. Sí. Pago y bla bla bla. Bergamot Farm. Card. Oh, yes, the lunch thing. Nick's house, Nick's house, Buck Mountain. Bang, that's it. Oh, what is this? Electrical substation. Okay. Keith. This house, Panda Bear. Okay. Red Barn. Sweary. The fuck, just a bed in the middle of somewhere? Alright, so where am I again? Um. Business. Zach, we need to get to Greenvale Forest Park. No, we don't. It's apparently quite a distance, so check the map. We'll go there tomorrow. Check. Have I done that now? <laughs> See, how have I done that? mistake. I'm going to take this one. Zach, we need to get to Greenvale Forest Park. Yeah, you don't need to keep it's saying that. quite a distance, so check the map. He walks like he shit himself. He also drives like shit. Zach, we can take a rest if you're tired. Uh, no, I'm okay just now, I think. the police station from here. Ah, so go straight across and then up Green Street when I get to the end. Okay. Because I want to have lunch at the place.
Was there Reindeer Street? And the running open doors animation is just shoulder barge in the thing. Where is lunch? Over the fucking yep. He's the FBI. They can do what they want. Talk. Hello. Yes, please. Do Fantastic do. cooking, Thomas. <laughs> Thank you. Good wholesome cooking like this in the workplace every day. George, you've got the good life here. I've been cooking here every day since I started. Only Is that sandwich a quarter circle? About your cooking, Emily. <gasps> oh, my <laughs> cooking is pretty good, but it isn't for two-legged animals. Uh, I think you can, yeah. I did. There was a reason next <laughs> well, to the sink. Hear that, Zach? <laughs> Not for two-legged animals. I'll have to remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well known hey, okay. round bread. <laughs> we need to meet the twins over at the forest. Park. Is that why, like, some ham, like ham, you can buy in parkets, can be like circular? That's enough for today. For the round bread. Giggling and let's get back on track. Yes, of course. <laughs> I've decided York isn't going to shave this entire playthrough. I've eaten. That's cool. No, we're not going back to the investigation. I want to look around the town some more. No, not you. Well, yeah, the round bread is only for the men. Round is a masculine shape. Um. I think from what I've seen of York with a beard, he just ends up looking like this. Alright, where can I go? Because I want to do some exploring of this town. We got... Who's, whose house is that? Nick? Don't know who Nick is. Bank. There's a save point, which I don't want. What? Why am I, why am I looking through windows? If you're hungry, eat a raw potato. Oh, this is this is full on just the double R dino, isn't it? Fair enough. Is it double R? Double R dino or R and R dino? Observation bonus. I just looked through a window at some people.
obviously. Big, huge coincidence. Um, not involved in the case. Now, how do you know? You've spoken to like five people since you got here. Okay. Suspect. You. What do you know? <laughs> FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. And you are? Olivia. Olivia Cormack. Nick's wife. Who's Nick? Olivia. Now that's a lovely name. Do you think so? You're the only one who's ever said that other than my father and Nick. Oh, it's a very good name. You should be proud of it. There's that famous... So her mum would have never said... She's actually from England, but she's got this really strong image of being an American pop singer. Huh? That's it. Olivia Newton-John. Pretty sure she's from Australia. Right? She's not only a successful singer, she's successful as an actress, too. Personally, I really liked Xanadu back in 1980. She played a cute fairy and just looked amazingly stunning. It's hard to believe she was 32 at the time. Um, yeah, British-born Australian. Uh, sorry, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Really? That's a shame. You should watch it when you get a chance. You'll learn to love your name. Oh. Okay. Okay. So, Olivia, do you know anything about Anna that might be helpful to me? Oh, she was a bright and lovely girl. I can't believe she... Did she ever look worried or anxious? No, not really. I just... I, I can't believe it, really. I'm never going to see her again, am I? She was here with us, so happy and energetic just a few days ago. She and I... We were getting all excited over some new dessert. Thank you, then. If you remember anything else... <laughs> I'm not going to let him... Let, I won't let you finish your story. That's cool. Thank you. Um, are, you are you a suspect? <laughs> Man just walks into a kitchen. Hey, I'm working here. You can't just stroll into a chef's kitchen. Yeah, I can. Try and stop me. Then perhaps you would give me your permission to enter. No. Get the hell out of here. Zack, everyone has their own sanctuary. Let's leave him in his. Can I make him leave? Can I talk to him from here? Oh, a diner menu. Why is that? Oh, it's the twin card. Okay. I was wondering why the menu was just in the thing. Um, hello. Nope. Not going in there. Okay, can I go in there? Ooh, coffee. Another trading card. Did you say that what's his face and like the old dude, wouldn't you? Or did I just did I just misread that? Because yeah, they they ain't here. Hmm. Okay. In here, you can't just stroll into a chef's kitchen. Then perhaps. Fine. Hmm. Hello. Hi there. This definitely is a diner. It's like he's an alien learning to interact with humans. 
What have you got? Oh, mad. See you at some point in the story. Okay. And in rings, macaroni salad, cornbread. I've just eaten. Okay. Hey, Nick, I want to speak to you. Nick. 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 Okay, fine. Screw you. To hell with you. I'll come back later. Suspect at the bank, apparently. So I'm gonna go see who this is. Hello. It's fucking bank. Let me get in. It says there is a suspect here. I am a police officer. I demand to be. Take this car. No. Okay. House is closed. What's this over here? Purple thing. Hmm. Oh, this is my house. house what DJ jet let's have a look um it yeah I uh, know I think it's a stove top I don't know why it looks like that but yeah Door, what's this? Aha. Uh -huh. No, I'm not going to shave. Give me VCR vibes. Yeah, could be one of those. But there's a VCR. It's not a VCR, but there's also apparently nothing for that TV to be connected to. I'm going to sleep though. 
I have a light sleep, three hours. There you go. Still in the same suit. The implication being that I just slept in that suit then. Awesome. Nice. Okay. I believe showering is a thing in this game. Also, you st otherwise you stink and get flies around you. Um, no, I, I don't think it is. I think you just have to change clothes for, for you to not become smelly. Let's see if this works. Just please don't have bricked my game. Real persons or groups is purely coincidental. Yep, sure. Cool. Load. Uh, resume. Yes. Previously, during the investigation, there, yeah, yeah, knock away. So, I don't know where it'll have spawned me. Ah, oh, box. The body was found in the Greenvale Forest Park. That's west from here. Didn't I say far to walk? I saved in this park thing, didn't I? Okay, fine then. I'm gonna go. Agent Morgan, if I could just give you a friendly <sighs> warning. Are you really upset about me taking. Yeah. Right, buckle up, guys, we're going for lunch. Anna's body was discovered by the woodsman Jim Green, along with his two grandchildren, Isaac and Isaiah. What were they doing in the forest? Just their daily routine. They found Anna's body during a morning walk. So you've talked to them already? Not officially. Not yet. Not yet. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> you haven't interviewed them yet? Agent York, that tone is hardly appropriate. We were that, it, orders it to is wait for you appropriate, alive. though. Orders by who? A man called Abrams from the FBI. Robert, is it? Good old Bob Abrams. I did tell him to stay out of it. It's always tough to have a meddling boss, huh, Zach? I thought you knew, Agent Morgan. Don't worry about it. We may not have taken official statements, but we got all the information we need. I can fill you in right now if you'd like. Thanks, George, but that won't be necessary. I want to hear the details from the witnesses themselves, firsthand. I just can't believe that the children had to witness the crime scene. Uh, they may be traumatized. You'd better do nah, this carefully. Could. Don't tell me you get nervous talking to children, Emily. Not at all. That's that's not what I meant. Then what did you mean? Ah, just forget it. No. Poor Emily has to sit in the back. Why can't George sit in the back? If you're wandering off, then we'll go on ahead. No, we're going we to lunch. We don't have time to mess around. Okay, I'll meet up with you later. Agent York, we only have until 1800 to talk with the witnesses to the crime scene, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just going to go get lunch and then... Sit 
save like this. A man needs round bread. Man's got to eat, Emily. <laughs> exactly. Uh, kitchen room. Um, I'm sorry. Where is Thomas? Uh, but yeah, yeah, you can shave in the uh, in the thing for reasons. So, um, so where's Thomas then? Where's his lunch? be on the safe side. Yes. Um lunch. Lunch. Hello. Ah. You're always freaking out. Fantastic cooking, Thomas. <laughs> Thank you. Good, wholesome cooking like this in the workplace every day? Yeah, we've covered that. How about your cooking, Emily? <gasps> oh, her cooking is pretty good. Yeah, everyone else but has... It isn't for two-legged animals. Just normal... Uh, bread. <laughs> cut. Although, cut diagonally. Did you that, Zach? <laughs> Not for two-legged animals. Fun. I'll have to remember that one. <laughs> I'm sorry, they've got a cup of tea and a cup of coffee. Okay, okay. It's just, that is too much Shut beverage. Up. We need to meet the twins over at the forest park. <laughs> Yours just right. losing his shit. Agent Morgan, that's enough for today. Stop your giggling and let's get back on track. Yes. <laughs> Make me. Of course. <laughs> uh, okay. Just gonna save again. So we don't. York's deaf on some things. Like it's like he lost his fucking shit over being someone just being like, "Yeah, her cooking shit is not fit for human consumption." It's like la la. Just enters the white void. Interview. Interview those kids. Where's my car? God damn it. So where are these kids? I'm sorry, why is it so far? So I got that, that, right. Which is the best way to get there then. So I come out here. So right. So, wait a sec, hang on. Where's it? Where was it again? Alright. I can come out. Alright, down Green Street at the right. And it's like, why would it need to. Be, it, it, is, it does not need to be improved. It just tells you the thing is. I'm sorry, what is it? 
what is happening here? Magic. I'm sorry. No, no, hey, 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 hey. I have to, I have to watch more of this. Oh, he's back inside his car now. Nope, nope, there he is. Zach, we can take a rest. This is suspicious. Time. Suspicious behavior, Chase. Definitely a suspect. It's like she's just levitating. <laughs> it's the floating man. Yeah. It's like he showed no remorse. Alright, which way was I going this way? Oh, fuck. I need to get uh, petrol. Where's the petrol station? Oh, sorry. Gas station. Uh, so it's. It's Nick's house, Anna's house, okay, Brian, um, so is that the first I can go on that? Okay. Yeah, I'll get to the mission once I've figured out where the bloody hell petrol station is. Is this it? No. Ah, so just. Alright, so down here. There's a suspect, just chilling. Alright. Um, so down here. Oh, right, okay. No oh, fuck. Wait, so which one was it again? So it's follow this along to uh, there. Okay. Yeah, so straight on this road. Okay. Is a suspect in a van? Imagination. Okay. Some number. Whose house is these boy? It's a farm. Oh, yeah. Can I get to the thing from here anyway? Don't think that I can actually. Out of town, I ain't seen you here before. 
Hmm. I'm Francis York Morgan, FBI Special Agent. I'm investigating the death of Anna Graham. Do you have any info on Anna or any suspicious individuals? I ain't got nothing to tell the cops. What about the FBI? Shut up. <laughs> At least give me your name. I'm Jack. They call me Raging Bull. That's a manly nickname. Why does he sound like Patrick <laughs> Warburton? Shut it. If you're a customer, act like one. No, 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 no he doesn't. Never mind. Ignore huh? me. Okay. <laughs> Talk. Um. Okay, can I? I don't know. I wanted to buy gasoline. Oh, for fuck's sake. I just wanted to buy gas. Oh, fine. I'm gonna get out of the car. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? Well, just do yep. as you please. We can head to the forest later. Um, what? Why is it? Gina Sponge. Okay. Where, where the fuck Gina is? Chips for you. And spy fic oh, I'm, I'm guessing spy fiction, yeah. Like I need I just wanna buy some gasoline. Let me buy some gasoline. This is just a dead of a live character, isn't it? I've never seen you here before. You in town to see some sights? Okay. What's your name? Well done, Jack, I guess. I'm Gina. Folks call me the Rose. I'm Francis York Morgan, FBI Special Agent. I'm investigating the death of Anna Graham. FBI? Wow, how cool. And, oh, I like that scar. Do you have any info on Anna or any suspicious individuals? Ugh. I hate that complex stuff. Let's have a more simple conversation. Simple? Hmm. Yeah. Do you want gas or not? Yes. Hmm. Uh huh. Okay. This game is timeless. How did this game know <laughs> the petrol would become so expensive? <laughs> yes. Those are the general ways to pay. Gas, cash, ass or grass. I don't think gas actually is one of them. Cash, grass, and ass. I, th I thought I'd lost all my money then. <laughs> Let me just get the car washed as well. Yeah, why not? Using that sponge. Okay. Fair enough. Thank you. Finish. I know it's supposed to be a sexy, seductive walk, but it's looking like she's got something wrong with her back. Come on. Alpha. 
So yeah, it's good to see you, Gina, but I kind of want to see your husband. Talk. Okay. I don't know how much time I'm going to have to waste till you can. So I don't want to. Uh -huh. I don't want to see you. Okay. I'm going to assume that's not what the area is. So is that about what it is? Oh, it's much more than that, I think, isn't it? Maybe? How much is a liter? Fill her up. I'm just going to give you some fucking money. That's fair Jack, enough, here's the Ben Franklin you wanted. Give it to me. Benjamin Franklin. So hang on. Not done. Benjamin, I wanted to talk to you. Have you heard this yet? I'll tell you another one when I see you again. How many times have I got it? Doesn't sound well. Zach, did you see that? It was as if we weren't here. I wonder what that was all about. Did it make sense to you? No. So they're both in there, right? So if I go back up this way, around and then left and then, oh sorry, right and then right again. Interview these kids. <clears throat> Zach, if you notice anything, just stop me. Okay. Will do. So I just filled up the tank. How have I got 94, 93% gas left? That's bullshit. What did Jack do? Pop all of my fucking tank. It's like he'll be back soon enough. No. He just took $100 off me. 
Yeah. I don't know if he is. He's so far away from the actual, like, main hub of the town. I say that, actually, I don't know which is meant to be the hub, but I'm assuming where the police station is, but... Uh, Yep, I'm going to go through this tunnel. What is a rain track into a wall? Ah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> just going to... Just, just ignore the the wall. So, the train tunnel to a wall. Where shall we go next? Uh, it's either platform nine and three quarters or that one Thomas the Tank Engine story where a train decides I don't want to come out of this tunnel because I'll get wet and everyone's just like right, brick him in and then they, they do and they, they brick in the train and they just leave him in that tunnel to essentially rust and die The Thomas the Tank Engine's fucked up. Right, so where do I go from here? And it's... Right, so it's on this road. And take... No, this one's the next one. They said, these are the things that I'm teaching my nephew, yeah. It's like, nah, don't, Tom's the Tank Engine is fucked up, lad. It's something you only really, like, actually learn or realise um, as you get older. It's like, I learned to count and obviously tell all my numbers apart from Tom's the Tank Engine. Zach, we can take a rest if you're tired. Like when I was a baby. But as you get older, you just realise that the fat controller is just, he's essentially just capitalism incarnate. It's just like, only money. Nothing more. Control, yeah. Also, the way he dresses is just like his name is Topham Hat. If you knew, if you knew that, like Sir Topham Hat, actually. He's just like, yeah. What else are you gonna be except a king capitalist? <laughs> Definitely a Tory. I'm pretty sure he owns all the railroads as well in um, in Sodor. So he has definitely privatised rail travel in that, um, on that island. All for his own personal gain. Treats their own people. I no, took you guys to lunch. I just had some things I had to do. And then pretty much came straight away. It, you know that? I'm sorry Shut up, George. You, but it was important stuff. To me at least. That isn't the issue here. We are in the middle of a homicide investigation. Yes. Not listening, George. I think we both know I... by now how little he thinks of other people's feelings. I'll be more careful. Oh, fuck you guys. I, I took them I took them ungrateful. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please call me York. It's what everyone calls me. And you are Jim Green? That I am, son. I keep these woods.
Well, you're doing a fine job. Well, I used to be a tree surgeon. Yeah. He was. And these two discovered the body. Yes. I think he was also the uh, narrator for Isaac. Thomas in the US at one point. Isaac. Yeah. Zach, you see that? Twins. Just like in my dream. We gotta keep an eye on these two. I'm sorry. Could we talk away from the boys? I want to help your investigation, but I don't want them to hear this. Very well. Emily, please. I'll just take them over there then. I don't want them Thank to hear you. this. They're literally the ones who saw Hold the on. body first. Don't do anything without asking me. These children would These fucking suit is ridiculous. I love it. I want to talk to them. Come on. They're just kids. They have no idea what really happened to Anna. That doesn't matter. You agree with me, right, Zach? Yes. Heartless. Do you ever think of other people's feelings ever? Emily's right. No. That's stone cold. Even for the sake of oh, the kids are dream about. Wait, what? In pure, what? Simple <laughs> terms. He said that out loud as well. We adults would never spot, and they are here at our request as well. Please <laughs> chat with them and see if they want to make a statement. Are you serious? Yes. I never joke about matters like this. Oh my god. Don't worry. I don't like when he smiles. As as you think. Look at them, standing so upright there. They're not. They're sitting down. Okay, there now we then, go. Isaac, Isaiah, tell me, what did you find here? Anna. She was so pretty. She had a red dress on. Her hair was shiny, bright gold hair. There were lots of animals around her. Squirrel, weasel. And a snake. A real snake. We didn't know until then. But we know now. Anna was the fairy of the forest. She was a goddess. She smiled when she saw us. She looked so happy. She That's was right, dead. Isaiah, she was a fairy. A goddess. I'm sure she is playing with those animals even now. Of course she is. Yeah, nope. of course. Nope. Most useful information, boys. Well, Emily, you can take them now. Okay, Zach. This is where Anna's body was. And that means our unsub. Our unknown subject was here, too. So, what happened here? I wonder, I don't think that's a legit term. was a weird exhale. Zach, something is still missing. We need more clues. I don't think I ever I've ever exhaled like that after smoking. Oh. <sighs> no, I I actually blow out smoke. The depression on the grass. Okay. So do I have to do these for everything that I find? Just a little shock. It's just I should just go have a snooze. Hello. 
As you requested, we have permission to stay and look around as needed. But what are you planning on doing? To All right, it's a suit. crime scene. Basic crime investigation 101. We might uncover some further evidence. Why would I have to have permission to look around? It's a crime scene. I seriously scene. doubt that there is anything else to find. Well, then you and Emily can wait in the car if that's the case. But I'll take my time here. In what other again, police media or anything? Is... Okay. So not that way then. The pickles. Um. More of the pickles. Okay. Picture of a vest with holes. Okay. Fuck all the fences, says Francis Morgan. Sorry, Francis York Morgan. I apologize. Oh no. It'd be funny if I just went and beat George to death with this stick. Okay. I couldn't auto lock onto that one. That was nice. So there's one thing that I'm missing. I can skip it, that's awesome. Agent on. So that takes me to the pickles. Like, how many of the pickles are there?
card. Fair enough. No, that'll take me to the opposite thing. Why can I shoot George? It's just like he's bothering me. Where's the other thing? Oh. It's like, what, what, what must George be thinking, actually? It's like, I've come to the crime scene, I've just started shooting bullets. Like, look how he's dressed. It's like he's not all there. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. It's upside down. I guess this is meant to be an anti peace sentiment then. These holes on the ground were made by uh, high stiletto heels all around here. And this depression here, Agent Morgan. I see what happened here. Hung her from a tree. Put on her shoes. <laughs> it's like, like your hockey program is glitching. Come on. So you may have to return to the mothership. Disgusting. Oh, oh, it's... George, you certainly have a vivid imagination. An interesting theory. Is the big twist of this game that York is just a hologram? What was his name? <laughs> like... that Hollywood producer. That's right. Joel. We really ought to introduce George to him, Zach. Joel. Silver? Profiling is a little different from writing a screenplay, though. An idea being interesting. Nope, doesn't still make glitching. It act. Let me enlighten you, George. The footprints reveal that one of the heels were missing from the shoes. And they're different from Anna's shoes that we saw at the office. <laughs> Furthermore, it's like George just it tripping balls. Disgusting evidence if he did kneel and, well, do as you suggested. If you want proof, go ahead and try it for yourself. He knelt here for a reason other than simple perversion. Hmm. Zach. What was he doing in front of Anna? Some dodgy, creepy shit. He was kneeling to pray in front of her. Just like the twins said, she was a goddess. The unsub, or unknown subject, offered prayers to Rune's body. He keeps trying to make unsub happen. It's not going to happen. Once dead Anna was transformed from an object of despite into one of worship. So who is Miss Stiletto Heels? The steps are close, coming up to the body, and then farther apart, going away. There was a reason to hurry away, then. That settles it, then, George. Miss Stiletto Heels is a third party here. She's not the murderer. No one runs away from an object of worship. Uh, it could be another victim who was with Anna. I could say something about the Catholic Church, but fled for some reason. I'm not gonna. She is also one who took whatever it was Anna was holding on to in her hand. But why? Why did she leave her here? Funsies. Only Miss Stiletto Heels knows the reason for that. She might know something about the man with the reversed peace mark, too. Ha! 
How many women wear high stiletto heels in this town, do you think? Oh, I should think most of them have at least one pair. I do too, before you ask. It was you! It was you, Emily! Wearing them, except, well, except maybe one person. Don't keep me in the dark, then. Who might this elegant lady be? Diane. It looked like you just put it out on her thumb. Story. But she's out of town for a big art auction. I heard she'll be coming back in a couple days. Then we'll just have to give her a warm welcome home. A more <coughs> then. Where in town can you find something like this? It should be a building that isn't used anymore. A bit of wood. With either a lot of metal or metal machinery or something like that. The old lumber mill. Then it's time to really get this show on the road. Hmm. Could you guide me to this perfect setting for extravagant murder? It's, it's not for my proper suit in the thing, it's just put your basic nothing. The lumber mill is pretty far from here. I don't want to go to the lumber mill. If that's where she was killed, yeah. why would the killer go to all the trouble well, of I just did, so. all the way here? I don't know yet. My profiling instincts tell me one thing is for sure, though. The unsub's personality is totally different before and after the crime. The unsub killed her in a brutal, horrifying way and then displays powerful adoration after she's dead. Something close to love. That could well be the key to all this. I will say this, though, George. Profiling is a risky business. Of course, if the unsub planted those stiletto footprints himself, well, then everything I've just said falls apart. But there's no evidence that he left those stiletto footprints. I'm sure we have Miss Stiletto Heels to thank for those tracks. All I can do is deduce the unsub's feelings in light of the evidence. And carefully figure the unsub's M.O. Modus operandi. His way of thinking. It usually unveils something that a normal forensic analysis may overlook. That's my way of profiling. It's not for everyone, but it works for me. Hmm, uh, I'm still glitching. Lord. So when it says zero zero, I'm not limited as to when I can actually go to that place then, is it? Like, I can go at any point. So if I wanted to, I could just go to the police station and then uh, wonder about the town from there. Cool, 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 cool. When I first joined the force, this lumber mill was still in full swing. It closed up right when I first moved here. And now it's totally abandoned. Yeah, cool. I presume so. I've never really been inside, so I don't know for sure, but it sure is run down. Deserted buildings are perfect for criminal hideouts and activities. I keep telling Harry to have the place torn down. Probably a little late for that. After all, it's already been used as the site of Anna's murder. We don't know that for sure yet, Agent Morgan. But that's right, from your point of view. But the perpetrator selected the lumber. Agent York, you seem very confident about this. Confident? Yes, I am. Confidence is a sweet spot between being rude and hopeless. I'm just drawing natural conclusions from the facts that we have seen. That sounds exactly like being full of confidence, at least to me. And to normal people with common sense. Common sense can be the opposite of facts sometimes. Bear that in mind. Oh, I will, Agent York. Thank you for another pearl of wisdom. Either way, we'll know for sure by simply going to the lumber mill. So keep your pearls of wisdom to yourself, and let's hurry. Well said, George. Can you step on it, Agent York? No. I refuse. Don't tell me what to do. So how do I find, like, which sub uh, side quests I can actually do? Uh, side mission... Chapter 2, 4, so not that. 
Yeah, I don't have that, no. Oh, so I did that. Oh. So I've done that one. Right. So none of these. So I'm on chapter five now. And none of these are saying five. Is that when they first become available or when you can actually do them? Uh, that one. My Sanders junkyard, blah blah blah, panda bear. Brand of bear. Emily's house. Right. So where am I? So I'm on this road. So if I go that way, I can go the opposite side away from where I, the thing is. How do I start those side, the side quests, though, is what I'm more curious about. So it's off, off October Studio. This is some weird music. It also says I have no gas and no damage to my car. Let's go, and find out if your facts can be trusted. You're full of confidence, right? Let's get to the lumber mill. No, I, I want to... Uh, that's... closed. So I'm going to see if I can go somewhere else. What's down here? Magic car. Closed. Hmm. 
Yeah, every, everywhere's closed. I think I actually have to do ch uh, chapter five. Which is in line with what... Um, Yeah, with the fact that it says that none of these can actually, like, there's no five here, so the numbers are telling me that's the chapters in which I can actually do those missions. Yeah, because there's no ten, so I think, yeah, okay. In which case, where's there a phone? Because I wanna. Uh, so if I am I on this road? Yes. So if I go along this way, and then straight, I can. I'm gonna grab that phone. I'm on Rose Street. So it's the it's the other way around. Then it must be. If it's saying, oh, you've got to be here between these times, that's when you can just go and walk around in the town, do some Let's shit. Go. And find out if your facts can be trusted. You're full of confidence, right? And if it's zero, zero, Let's then it's like you've got to do it now. then. Okay. So it is, yeah. It's all right. Three viewers, not bad. Bear, let me save. Um, hello. I can't even get out and save. God damn it. So I've got to go here then. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. That's, yeah. It'll, it'll just start me back there when I go back to it. Yeah, I think that's, that's a good place to stop for the evening, I think. Also, when I come back, I can just go from there. Drive straight to the lumber mill. Oh, actually, yeah. Ammunition run time ever. I don't like what they're saying on you. Run time error. After about an hour, it's from the request to the run time, blah blah blah. I'm the same problem done out of Uh, nothing of worth there. Yeah, it's been good. So then, I think like th chapter three, chapter four. I did interview some people in the well, one suspect in the diner. And then the game crashed. Had lunch. And found a train track to nowhere. <laughs> yeah, the nine and three quarters platform. Or rail. But anyway, I'll um I'll be off. 
watch some TV, go to bed, go to work. Um, thanks for watching. If anyone new has been watching, if you want to follow, that's, that is DP. Anyone new has watched, if you like what you see, I'll probably follow if, if you want. It's, like, it's up to you. I'm not going to tell you what to do. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.